Hey everybody, happy Monday! Guys, Facebook and Instagram are not working right now. Um, I don't know what's going on. They just said there's a big outage and some kind of complication arose. I don't know what's going on, but I wanted to still get a video of you guys because I have not felt good the last couple of days and I'll tell you why in a few minutes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually download this into YouTube and then I will post it on Facebook once it's up and running. So I didn't want you guys to miss out on a video because like I said, I haven't done one in a couple of days. So while I put on some primer, you guys, I will tell you what happened and why I was MIA. A couple of reasons. We are going to go in with VFX uh, Pro Camera Ready for, um, Primer. Uh, it's a silicone base, you guys. It's clear. It's a mattifying primer. It's going to help with fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. Um, I switch between all of our primers, honestly, but the most most of the time I use our VFX CC primers, but I still love our originals. Now we have a strobe primer also, which is really, really good if you want a more glowy look to your skin. So if that's what you're looking for, definitely go in with the strobe primer. If you want a mattifying, then go in with the silver tube. And if you need help with redness, you're going to go in with our new CC primer in the green. Or if you want to even out your skin and you have a little bit of a yellow undertone, you want to go in with the purple, which is our brightening CC. This is our strobe. And you can combine these two together. Um, you can do a mix of any of our primers, to be quite honest with you. It's totally up to you. Um, I usually go in with two of them at least because... Two is better than one, right? And I have several issues, so it helps me with everything that I need to get my face really ready for foundation or whatever I'm going to be putting on top. So just a trick there. Um, and our primers are really not that expensive, you guys. So it's super easy to be able to buy a couple of them and use two or more. So that's already sunk in, you guys. Now today, I'm gonna go in with just powder, I think, as my foundation. I'm not sure, should I go in and show you guys the VFX? I was gonna show you guys just the powder, but I have done that a couple of times. Um, hmm. I guess I'll go with the VFX, you guys, because I did powder for a while. So let me go in and show you, because this is a new formula, you guys. It's been reformulated. I actually love it now that it's been reformulated. I wasn't a big fan at be the beginning um, with our original formula because my skin's really dry and more mature. I found it was a little bit too drying for me and it didn't um, set on my face the way that I would like it to. Now, however, the formula seems to be a little bit thinner and it's much more hydrating. So I really do enjoy it now. So I'm going to go in with the shade. Let's see. I'm going to go in the shade number four. I go in between four and five. And as always, you can apply this whichever way you want. Um, some people use a sponge, some people use a brush. So it's pretty much whatever you like to do. Some people use their fingers. Um, so there's really no right or wrong way. I'm actually getting really low on this one. <clears throat> I have to reorder. So I'm just going to do that. And usually what I like to do is kind of get it into my skin and then I'll go in with that beauty blender. So I kind of put it on. And you guys, I'm a little bit in between shades right now. I'm a little too dark still for just number four, but then a little too dark 
uh, a little too light for number five, which so it's kind of odd, but. And if you are using your fingers, you guys, make sure that you are using clean hands, okay? Very important. Um, clean hands that have been washed and sanitized. You don't want to bring bacteria onto your skin, okay? But God gave you these two tools so you can feel free to use them if you would like. And then what I like to do after is I'll go in with my beauty blender and I just make sure that everything is blended in and look seamless. Sometimes, you know, your hands are your best tool. And even though we have really good brushes and we have beauty blenders, sometimes it's just nice to use your finger. So now let me get my beauty blender. I have a brand new one because my other one, you guys, finally rest in peace. It just was not washable anymore, at least not to my standards. So, I had to dispose of it. And now I'm just going in with that beauty blender. And I'm just going over to make sure that everything is blended nicely. And you could also, if you wanted to, to ensure that this foundation stays on even better, not that I think it could possibly get any better, but you could go in and wet your sponge with a little bit of time locker. And then, especially if you're really oily, go in with a little bit of time locker, spray it down, or put it on your sponge when you go in to kind of like blend everything out. And that's going to assure that this foundation is not going to go anywhere. But our VFX is a full, full coverage foundation, you guys. So you know, you're going to do fine without setting it at an earlier stage. But if you do have really oily skin and you find that your foundation slips and slides a little bit, um, just do that. Put it on. I mean, spray. You can spray your face first with Time Locker and then go in with the foundation or go into your foundation and then do like I did and just kind of spray it with your time locker and just go over the areas that you know are your oiliest and that's going to help to set it and lock it into place, okay? There's so many little tricks that you can do to keep your makeup exactly the way you want it to be, so no worries there. Now, you guys, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. Our concealer's also been reformulated, so it has a plumping effect in it now, which is awesome. And these are so affordable, you guys. And it's going to really help brighten and plumpen your under eye area. And I am using the shade, I think I got this one in Biscuit. Let me see. Yes, I got number three Biscuit this time. I have Bisque and I also have Ivory. So depending on how light you want your under eyes to be, pick a shade that's either lighter or equal to or a little bit um, darker if you were trying to do another look. Um, I do not like a really bright under eye, so I normally will stick to something that's either equal to my skin tone or just a little tiny bit lighter than my actual skin tone. So for me, ivory is really light. So usually what I do is when I use ivory, I'm using it to highlight certain parts of my face, but never under my eyes. I might pop a little bit on the inner corner. I might put some here or over here to add some brightness and lightness to my face, but I very rarely will ever use it under my eyes. 
And the reason for that is because I do have more mature skin. I'm going to be 52. Um, I don't like to draw a lot of attention to under my eyes. I want the attention to be focused on my eyes and on my lids. I don't want it to be focused under here. So I tend to go with a shade that's equal like bisque or a shade that's a little tiny lighter, which is equivalent to biscuit for me. So if you are similar to my skin tone and that's the looks that you're looking to go for, try bisque or biscuit. Bisque has more of a pink undertone, which is what I have to my skin. So it blends in pretty much flawlessly with my skin. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it on my eyes and guys the applicator is a flat brush it just puts the product on so good you guys i love 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 this brush and it's super soft and it just blends out like a dream you guys it's so good so today I wanted to go in because we are now officially in October. I wanted to go in and do more of a fall look, like really fall. Because now I feel it's acceptable because we are in October. So we are closer to Halloween, you know. So I think we can get away with a true fall look at this point. I love fall, you guys. It's my favorite time of year. I love it. Okay, so I'm not going to powder my face. I'm not doing any of that right now because if I get any fallout, I want to be able to clean it up with just my beauty blender. Um, I know with powder, if you set underneath your eyes with powder, you can also help with that fallout by just sweeping it away. However, for me, I don't like putting powder under my eyes because I don't want to bring attention. I have it settle in my fine lines and wrinkles. So I tend to not powder. And then if worse comes to worse, I can just go in with a little bit more foundation and just clean it up that way. So to do our look today, I'm going to go into our Iconic palette, okay? This palette's beautiful, you guys. It's a nice mix of mattes and jewel tones. Um, really, really pretty fall colors. So I'm going to go in with... I think I'm going to start off with... I think... Let me think. If I want to go in with Lita or Struggle... I know I want to use, I think I'm going to start off with the shade Leader, maybe. Should I do Bliss? Maybe I'll do Bliss. I'll do Bliss in the crease. I'm so indecisive today. Anyways, guys, going back to why the MIA. Okay, so we're going to go in with Leader, which is this gorgeous color. We're going to put that, I mean bliss in our crease get it together charlotte bliss in our crease okay um well, let me tell you why i've been kind of m.i.a um i went out what day was it uh sunday and no saturday i'm sorry saturday and went out because i wanted to go to trader joe's so we got ready and we took off for the day, went to Trader Joe's, did a few things. Well, on the way back from Trader Joe's, um, I started feeling not so great. So I'm like, okay, what is going on? You know, am I getting a cold? What's going on? Maybe it's allergies. Well, by the time I got home, I really did not feel good. And I said, well, I'm going to nip this in the bud because I don't want to get sick. So I waited a little bit and I'm like, okay, what should I take? Well, I had no Tylenol cold in my house, which is what I normally take. I have plenty of allergy medicine, but I'm like, if it's not allergies, that's not going to help me. And if I take that, I won't be able to take anything else. So anyways, as the night progressed, I started to feel like worse and worse. So I'm like, okay, what can I take? 
but all I had was NyQuil. I am not a NyQuil person. I can't honestly tell you the last time I took NyQuil, to be honest. I'm always like Tylenol um, cold. So anyways, I was like, well, I'm just going to take it. Took the, um, took the NyQuil before I went to bed. Well, let me tell you, I started like sweating and just not feeling good soon after I took the NyQuil. And I took the recommended dose and everything, but well, anyways, I fell asleep. I woke up and I felt so horrible, you guys. Um, I could not wake up. Like I could not stay awake. It felt like, you know, when you have like um, surgery and you come out, you're coming out of anesthesia or you... Um, go for like a colonoscopy and you have that light type of anesthesia and you, you're trying to wake up and you want to wake up, but you just can't, like you just want to keep sleeping. That's what happened to me on Sunday. It scared the living crap out of me. Like it was such an odd feeling to want to wake up and not be able to. I just kept sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. Well, finally, by last night, late last night, my head started to clear up finally you guys, I will never take NyQuil again. It was terrible, like terrible. I'm not even kidding you. Worst feeling in the world. I just was so nervous. I was like, what is going on? So I will not take NyQuil again. Not going to happen. I'll stick to my Tylenol cold. And that'll be it. But. That was the worst thing. And then I started feeling sick. I was in the bathroom. I was like, I won't get into what I was doing because that's way too much information. But you can kind of take a guess. My whole body was off, off, like off whack. It was terrible, you guys. Terrible. So, yeah, not good at all. So that was the main reason why I was like kind of out of commission yesterday. Saturday, I just took it off just to have a down day, honestly. I just needed a day to just not be on social media, to just concentrate on my family and just have a me day, honestly, because my work, being an influencer for pharmacy, I'm on the computer 24 seven. Like that's how I do my job. That's how I make my living. It's all social media based and being online and connecting with people and sales and being on my website and my back office. So I'm on the computer all the time, you guys, because I choose to be, because I choose to make this a full-time job. So, I mean, if you want to be part of the company, you can do so as little or as much as you want. You don't have to do it the same way as anybody else. But for me, I spend a lot of time because it is my full-time job. So now we're gonna go in with a little bit of the shade Leader, you guys. And I'm gonna actually take it on my finger. So, and I'm gonna place that on my lid. We're gonna kind of put that there and then we're gonna go in with an additional color on top so I took Saturday off just as a personal a personal day you know and, and thank God I don't have a boss I don't have to ask permission I can do whatever I want I can take any time I want off if I want to take a day off I take a day off so that's what I did we just kind of went for a ride we went to Trader Joe's um and we just, you know, had a really fairly nice day until I started feeling like dog poop. But um, other than that, I feel, you know, better today. I'm not feeling 100%, but better than I did um, the other day. That's for sure. So that's always good. And today, of course, it's rainy, it's cold here. It's just like, oh, yucky day. I'm just cleaning up that color because I don't want that in the corner of my 
eye. So I'm going to take a little bit of that concealer and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. So that's what I did. I just took like a little break, a me day, and it was well worth it. And I was actually able to get quite a few things at Trader Joe's that I wanted, like seasonal stuff. Like I love going to Trader Joe's to get like seasonal things. Um, that's my thing. Like I love Trader Joe's, but whenever they come out with their seasonal stuff, I always try to get there um, because I love, love, love their seasonal items. They're just so good. Okay, guys, so as I continue my story, let me tell you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go in with the shade Crush, and I'm just going to add a little bit of that in the center so that we don't have such a matte, a full matte. I just want a little bit of something, something. So I'm going to go in with a little tiny brush, and I'm going to place that right in the center that crush shade and it's not really going to add a lot it's just going to add almost like a halo right in the center just to draw your eye kind of into that center look and i love doing this when i'm doing like a darker um lid because it really does help to just lighten it a little without disturbing the initial look. So I kind of just place that right here. And then I just kind of drag it out a little bit. So you can see it's just a little bit and then I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to kind of softly just blend that so that it's smooth. And you'll see it, but it's not going to be anything like direct. You know what I mean? It's just going to be sitting there in the background. You're going to get this little pop of shimmer. but you still get that big burst of like pumpkin look with a little touch of spice, okay? And if you wanted to add a little bit more, you can. If you feel like you've blended it too much, you can just add a little bit more on top. I love, love, love this look, you guys. I do it often in the fall. And then I'm going to take that same shade leader and I'm going to drag that underneath. And I'm just doing halfway. I'm not going all the way across. Because if I was to do the whole eye, it's going to close my eye up and I don't want that. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go in with that shade Crush, and we're going to go to the inner part of the eye now. And I'm going to connect it into the inner corner, and it's going to bring some brightness right into that inner corner for us. And this is a really nice trick if you have smaller eyes, because it's going to allow your eyes to stay open and look a little bit wider and more open than they might actually be because you're bringing brightness and lightness to the inner part so it's not going to close off your eyes you know what i mean and if you have blue eyes like i do this color combo is just going to make your eyes pop it just does incredible things for your eyes like incredible okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of that concealer. I'm just going to use it to clean up any 
something that we may have had fall underneath. And then we are going to go in with mascara. So let me just spray my and where's my let's see I'm gonna get a little blender brush from a little concealer brush just to use to blend out that concealer. And then I'm just gonna go in with that sponge and clean up the eye. And then if it's too light, you can go back in with a little bit more of your foundation. And we're gonna add a little bit of translucent powder just underneath. And I just, because I don't want it to be too light. So I'm just going in with a little bit of our foundation. And cleaning that up. And then I'll go in with a little bit of powder. Okay. It's getting dark out. You guys, I'm losing light. Losing light. All right. Let me go in. I have a brand new translucent powder, you guys. I'm so excited. I was without it for so long. And I kept forgetting to order it, you guys. So finally, finally, I got it back. I'm so happy because I'm not, like I said, I don't like to put like powder powder, but the translucent powder, I don't mind because there's no color to it. So it doesn't affect my under eye. See, no color, so it works out beautifully. All right, you guys, so we have that all set. I'm just going in and making sure that that's all nicely blended. Okay, so like I said, if you have blue eyes, you guys, your eyes are gonna absolutely pop with this look, absolutely. Then we're gonna go in with one of my newer favorite mascaras, which is for me, the Limitless. You know, I was always doing Double Lash, most of the time Zen, you know, those types of, the, um, those mascaras that we have. I always, always, always love Zen because it's so affordable. It's a great everyday mascara. Double Lash is one of my favorites, another great mascara for every day, but Limitless has Capixel in it, and it's really good for your lashes, and I love that it's a bristle brush. So I have been using that a lot lately, and I just find that I really, really like it. So, and then actually, before I do mascara, you guys, I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of bronzer. And I think... You guys know I love our limited edition bronzer. It's so good, you guys, but it is limited edition, so I'm not quite sure how long it will be around for. So I think what I'm going to do is show you guys our um, regular highlight and contour palette, which is um, a face sculpting palette, I should say. And I'm gonna show you that one because this one's always available. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna use that just to contour to add a little bit of warmth to my skin. So what I do is I kind of place it where I want and because I have such a big forehead, you guys, 
I like to diminish the look of my forehead. So I actually take that product all the way across. If you were looking to um, make your forehead look a little bit bigger, you're going to want to just place them here and here and not go all the way across because then it's going to close up your forehead, give that illusion of a smaller forehead. So if that's not what you're looking for, just concentrate it right on these areas and then of course on the rest of your face, wherever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking that contour and I'm going right on my cheekbone and up. So like a C, and I do it this way. I don't like to do it under here in the contour of my cheek because my cheeks are already big enough. So I don't want to bring attention to this part of my cheeks. Now, if I had smaller face and I wanted to bring attention, I'd chisel out that area, but I don't want to do that. So I actually keep it on the tops of my cheeks. And doing it this way also allows you to not have to use a blush if you didn't want to. So it's totally up to you. And then I come over here and I kind of carve out my jawline to give it the illusion of being a little bit less jiggle jiggle over here. And I want this to be as less noticeable as possible. Um, my chin is my biggest insecurity, so that I don't like about my face. So I'm always trying to conceal or kind of give the illusion of less chin. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now my nose, I like my nose. I don't ever contour my nose, so I'm good with that. <laughs> oh no, excuse me guys, I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> this is what happened. All day Saturday and all day Sunday. Oh God. And I hope it's not gonna start up again. So if I do put contour anywhere, I'll put it on the top of my nose, but I never usually do the side. And then you can put a little bit here on the chin, the actual chin. And that's pretty good. You can see I add some warmth back into my skin, which is what I wanted. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with our three-in-one palette. You can use any of our blushes, you guys. Um, it does not matter. We have so many. In fact, actually, you know what? Instead of the three-in-one, I'm going to go in with one of our single blushes. Just to show you, because I have such a strong eye going on, I want to keep my blush kind of simple. So I'm going to go in with number 15. This is almost like a shimmer blush, but it's very soft. So it's gonna go really pretty with this um, eye look. And I'm just concentrating it right here. I'm not gonna take it all the way up because we have that contour shade there. So I'm just concentrating it right here on the apples. And that's it. Really super simple. So number 15 for the blush. And it has a little bit of shimmer. So I don't need to go in with any highlight, which is really good. Okay, now I feel like my nose is going to run, which I hope it won't. Nothing worse than a runny nose when you're trying to do a makeup look. You know what I'm saying? Can you feel me? Not good. Okay. Oh, God, I hate that. All right, now we're gonna go in, we're gonna do um, mascara. So I'm gonna go in with Limitless. And this is the wand. It's a brush, bristle brush. And it's just so good, you guys. And I usually go in with one coat. You can build this up though without getting all kinds of clumping or anything like that. Our mascaras are really good in that way that they don't usually clump up um they are buildable so that's really good because some people you know they they like a couple of coats but i'm usually a one coat gal usually sometimes i get real crazy and i go in for a second coat but usually it's one And I will show you the difference between with and without. 
so you can see how good this mascara is. Okay, you guys, can you see that? That's one coat. Incredible, right? Like, look at the difference with just one coat of this amazing mascara. So again, I'm looking up, you guys can see, isn't that crazy, you guys? It's just so good, and it's probably because, one, the formula, but two, because bristle brushes really hold on to your lash, and they elongate them, and they really do separate, because the bristles, for some reason, a bristle brush just, oh, it's just so good, you guys. I don't know, There's, what else can I say? Bristle brushes are just my favorite. They just hold on to those lashes and just work their magic. It's just so good. And I have, and I have pretty nice lashes. Um, so I'm fortunate in that way. But, I mean, I don't have the longest lashes, and they do lack volume, and this just gives me that volume, that length, like everything. Everything that you could possibly want, you're going to get out of this Limitless Mascara, plus you're going to get that Capixel, which is going to help lengthen your lashes and make them healthier. So you're getting a ton of benefits with this mascara, you guys. And again, I'm just going through them, separating them, but I have not dipped back in to that product. I'm just using what I have on the wand and I'm just going up and separating. And I'm letting that wand do all the work for me because depending on how I hold the wand and how I put the brush to my lashes, it's going to give me a different effect. When I go straight up with the end of the brush, I'm elongating those um, lashes, okay? And I'm also, at the same time, able to separate any of them that may be sticking together, okay? So look how incredible you guys like that is amazing at least to me i think that's amazing so let me look up for you guys i mean look at that that is so good this is why i think this is probably my new favorite to be honest with you guys i think it's taken over my heart i think it might be even better than my double lash I don't know. I'm just really loving it. But you guys, you can use a different mascara depending on what look you want. So, you know, buy a couple and alternate if that's what you like to do. Because some days you just want a simple, you know, everyday look. And Zen Mascara for $8.90 would be a great option. Because it's only $8.90. And it's going to make your eyelashes look really good. And it has vitamin E in it. So, yeah, you can get that one. And if you wanted to try the Limitless, you could do that. But we have so many mascaras, you guys. But I would recommend if you are using these for the first time and you're not sure which ones you're going to like, and because you really should replace your mascara like every three months, I recommend trying them each on their own for three months. So try one for three months, and then when you go to replace it, try a different one. And then at the end, you'll see which ones are your favorites, which ones you like the most, and then stick with those and alternate between the ones that you like the most. That way you're not wasting product, you're not having to throw out mascaras because you bought too many of them at one time and you weren't able to use them all, you know what I'm saying? So save yourself a little bit of money and just do that. Buy one each 
every three months. And then at the end, after you've tried them all, pick the ones that you like the most. And then those are the ones you buy. You know what I'm saying? So Limitless uh, Mascara for the win today. And I just feel like my nose is running. Now I gotta, I'm gonna have to go wash the sponge now. That's always good. Okay. So now we're gonna do lips, you guys. Lips. And for lips, we are going to do, hmm. I need to pick a lip liner because the lip color I'm going in with is going to be dark. So I wanna try and stay within the lines. So I think I'm gonna go in with, this is gonna be a little bit opposite of the color I'm putting on, but it will all blend in. So I'm gonna do 219. And I'm gonna use this because it's getting really dark. And I am struggling to see you guys. This is just basically just to guide me. Because the color I'm going to use is dark. I'm just putting a little bit on those corners. And then we're gonna go in with one of our original liquid matte lipsticks in the shade 12. This is the most beautiful fall color and winter color. It is gorgeous, you guys. Look at that. Now, normally, I would not go with a bold eye and a bold lip. But for me, in my opinion, because it's so close in the colors, I think it's a good way to pull it off. You know, like, I think you can pull it off because the tones are the same. Now, if you wanted to, you could come in and ombre it a little bit in the middle with a concealer or a lighter shade of one of our other liquid matte lipsticks and just ombre it out a little bit. Or you could put another shade on top to lighten it and just kind of make it a little bit less bam in your face. But I'm not going to do that because I think it looks drop dead gorgeous just the way it is. So I'm going to leave it because I love this shade, you guys. So again, this is 12, number 12. Let me swatch it on my hands for you guys. It's just the most beautiful fall, winter shade. I mean, God, look at that, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? And as it dries down, it just dries down to this beautiful matte finish. And it just is this beautiful, deep reddish orange shade. Like, it's just so pretty, you guys. So pretty. And believe it or not, you could pair it with quite a few 
different looks um, as far as eyeshadows. Believe it or not, you really can. I put it with different colors. Just don't be afraid to think outside of the box, you guys, because I'm telling you, you can do so much with this lipstick. So let me go over and just recap what we did. We went in with our VFX Pro Original Primer in the Silver Tube, okay? Then we went in with our VFX Foundation in the shades 04. We used Biscuit as our concealer and as our lid um, primer. Then we went in with Translucent Powder. We did the Iconic Palette and we used the shades Leader, Bliss, and Crush. So Crush um leader and bliss so these two in that one and then we did limitless mascara we did number 15 in our single blush okay which is this one it's such a gorgeous shimmery pink peach more so peach than pink it's just gorgeous you guys like i don't even know like it's just so pretty um and then we did 219 lip liner and then we did number 12 for the lips which is part of our original liquid matte lipsticks and believe me you guys the original formula is just as good as the vfx ones i love them they're both very nice they're comfortable they're not drying on your lips they're not going to crumble or crack or anything like that so you are good with no matter what type you go with whether the original or the newer version the vfx you're going to love them you guys and that's pretty much it, guys. I did not powder the rest of my face. Oh, we did go into our face sculpting kit, and we used that to add a little bit of warmth back into our face. Um, so that's what we used, you guys. We did use quite a few products, but again, you guys, I always stress, if you like a look that I do and you cannot afford to get all the products at once, pick the ones that you know that you're going to use the most at first, Get those first and then incorporate it with products that you already have and then slowly build up your collection, okay? So every month, order a couple of things. And that's the best and easiest way to do it if you are on a budget, you guys, because everybody's on a budget. We all, we've all been there. We all needed to be on a budget. So that is the best way that I can tell you is just pick a couple of products each month, start off with the ones that you know you're going to use the most, that you'll get the most use out of, and that have the most um, ways to use them. Start with those first and then sprinkle in things that you have already to kind of mimic the looks that you're seeing that you like that I do and then just slowly build it up every month just add another product every month and if you want to become a customer of mine or you're already an existing customer and you really like these products and you want to get more message me and I'll tell you how you can get 50% off of everything that you buy as a customer not someone that's looking to sell not someone that's looking to build a team or become an influencer strictly someone who wants to get a discount and buy products for themselves okay so if that's something that interests you um message me and i'll tell you exactly how you can do that it's super simple it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg so yeah so guys i hope you enjoy this look um i think it came out gorgeous um you guys know i'm not like a makeup artist so you know sometimes my eye looks to me come out looking so much better than other people might say oh i don't know but to me i think this look is beautiful um like i said i'm not a professional makeup artist so this is just an average woman uh, doing makeup the best way i know how and um i think i do pretty good i'm getting better you know it's been two years so i i've gotten much better than when i first started um so yeah you know i i think it's it's fun to play with makeup. It's fun to learn and get better and better. I enjoy making my makeup looks better and better. I work hard at it. Um, I think there's always room for improvement. So yeah, but I just love makeup. I love doing makeup. So some days it comes out really good. Some days not so great or not as I planned, but it's still 
me learning and it's experience. So, you know, I don't think you can ever lose with that. Um, but I do hope you enjoy this look and I hope you all have an amazing rest of your Monday. Have a great week ahead. Um, I'll probably be back on tomorrow or Wednesday with another look. Um, I'm going to do a couple of Halloween looks, I think. And if not, I do have some from last year and I'll post those as inspiration. Um, so yeah, so anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for spending some time of your day with me. And um, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.